How do? How are we doing? People in the chat have bright and early. Although it's not that early, is it? Uh, start off with loading the workout. Ah, oh, my word. Um, show you from the very beginning. This will only be 40 minutes, so <laughs> short and sharp, even though you'll see it's a 40 minute workout, there's actually hardly any intervals in it. But when they are there, they're um, about as hard as they get. So uh, let's jump into workouts. And uh, it's on Training Peaks, so Training Peaks custom workouts, and then the WTF. Oh my word! We're not using Erg mode because there's no way we're gonna need it. And workout. And what I will do is change my training difficulty to here. And we'll get going. Twenty minute warm up. Let's get the chat going. <laughs> Morning everybody. Got got the stripes on yet, yeah, because I've only got two weeks left to wear them. <laughs> so I'm wearing them indoors. Uh, morning Zach, how are you doing? Actually not morning, good evening. From down under. Oh, I've done a lecture this morning already. Why me? Morning, guys. How are you doing? That's good, isn't it? Fair play. <laughs> Looks horrific. Yeah, it's. Uh... So I didn't know what to call the intervals. I mean, you know, what do you call them? There's, there's not really. I don't know what to call intervals when you. Uh when you create them so when I looked at it I took a step back or rather when I was sent this interval session by um, by a friend who uh, competed on the track uh, I was like surely like this this is wrong like there's a typo here somewhere surely hey, Steve Young the python from Canyon has just gone flying past us um, I was like no there's a typo in these intervals surely uh, because the horrific bit is is the 50 seconds like max 10 seconds rest and then, 50 se and then a minute max um, but the idea is that like you know it's, it's maximum capacity so it's whatever you can sustain it's not about like you know trying to do your best numbers ever it's about basically just hurting yourself so that last minute is terrible like your power generally that last minute it's quite crap, but that's the whole idea. So, <laughs> yes, what the fudge is this? <laughs> yeah. um, somebody asked if I was still going to be defending them. Well, I don't know if I can go to the Nationals. If I could defend them. So at the minute, no, I can't defend them. There's <laughs> a lot of orange and red in it. <laughs> oh, it's out of the saddle map. But it's just maximum. Every single interval here is maximum. I know there's, you can see there's what, uh, there's there's what, wattage targets that I've given myself, but they're irrelevant. <laughs> they're irrelevant. <laughs> they're just. It's just maximum. Every single effort is maximum. Maximum capacity. There's no measure in the effort. I'm also going to leave the fan off um, for the first set because I want to warm up. Or rather, it's not very warm in here, so I want to warm up.
<laughs> Cheers, Matt. Molly Badges, I bro. <laughs> Molly DJ. <laughs> uh, it is pretty horrific, yeah. But it's only a 40 minute workout, and actually half of the workout is a warm up. <laughs> Which is brilliant. This is why I love, like, I love changing my training to do, like, specific things like this because. Like, I'm literally doing hardly any riding of it. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's not brilliant, actually. I'm not a big fan of it at all. But what I'm saying is, there's only so much of these you can do. So the minute I'm either riding the bike and doing intervals like this and going as hard as I can, or I'm just having, like, basically days off so that I'm capable of doing it again, um, yeah, at the end of the day, this workout, this 40 minutes, even with all this zone 1, comes in at like an intensity factor of 40 minutes of 0.96, so 96% of FTP. It's absolutely mental. Anyway. We're not gonna let defeat this, none of this mental stuff. We're just gonna, gonna get it done. We'll get it done. Oh no, this won't be this won't be a low TSS one. It'll be like 60 TSS. Probably more actually. Hey Dad, how you doing? No worries, Ryan. We love the suffering. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I was really like in two minds when I have to do this today. But after last night, I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. And let's live stream it as well.
Yeah, Phil, um, I'm hoping to do a Zwift race tomorrow morning. Um, and then me and Charlie were in for a ride for about midday for a couple of hours. Someday, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. Yeah, I can share the session. Schmidt, send me an email. Have a look in the description, send me an email down below. I'll send everybody who's uh, sent me an email there. And uh, I'll send you, uh, I'll send you the workout. I mean, they're pretty easy, I mean, this is pretty easy to create this workout, but granted. Oh, I'm warm. Yeah, 8, 8k, 8, 8,000 subs, I can't believe it, like, I'm happy that you're enjoying what I'm doing, obviously. Uh, with these intervals, Kev, uh, I know it's going to drop, so it's what I'm training for. I'm not training for trying to hold a certain amount of power. I'm training to just go as hard as I can. Yeah, it react, reacts pretty quickly, yeah. You can see it yourself. Yeah, the mode is off on purpose because uh, it's just all out. It's just all out. Um, those wattages that you see on the left there, I'm not going to be hitting any of those. <laughs> um, it's not realistic. The only reason why I put them there is to just to give me something to aim for. Um, so, yeah. This one, I don't, I don't want any of you like coming away from this and 
thinking that this interval session is supposed to be like woven into like some sort of like I'm pacing it and I'm for me right now this is not about pacing this is just about hanging on to basically being absolutely like you'll see me after the 30 second effort the 40 second effort I'll be on my knees already in the 40 second effort and at the 40 second effort we have 20 seconds rest boom into 50 seconds I'm gonna be like 50 seconds my power is gonna be like I'm gonna be like really struggling and then 10 seconds rest and bang into one minute and I'm literally just gonna be like my one minute power in this workout for that last one minute is usually the same power that I can do for like 10 minutes but it shows what happens when you deteriorate yeah Zach that's basically it so each effort is as much power as you can do for that time period or what we term as capacity so no Simon I never throw up I never throw up that's a myth in cycling if you haven't, if you haven't thrown up you haven't got hard enough just don't eat like you won't throw up <laughs> oh yeah this is a proper burning matches yeah I, actually yeah I might rename it cheers Mick call it matchbox or something I had my coffee about 15 minutes ago or an hour ago so I was like sitting down on the sofa and there I was like <laughs> like waiting to go like 11 o'clock coming around let's go so it's gonna be interesting actually comparing because I've done this workout on the road I've done it on a flat road I've done it on a climb it'll be interesting to compare like the difference between indoor doing this and outdoor doing it um, I reckon I reckon it'd probably be easier doing them indoors we'll see we'll see <laughs> <laughs> that was his mission for his season. Absolutely nuts. Okay, we're coming up. We're almost halfway through the session already. We've only done a warm up. Uh, you're nervous. <laughs> yeah, just get ready for Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it's quite. Uh, it's nice in a way that, like, like I know a lot of you are quite annoyed because you never see me suffering enough. This is it. Isn't it? This is your chance. If you want to see me struggling, then this is it. <coughs> yeah, this is the first time you met. But... Oh my word. Two minutes. Just drafting off this runner on my right. Here's Phil. Mentally, this is probably going to be easier because I can see the finish of each interval coming up. 
Uh, Robin, the wattages you see are not accurate at all. Because every interval, you probably missed it just now, every interval is flat out. So my last interval, the one minute interval, like I'm, I'm gonna be lucky if I do 450 watts for that minute. Like lucky. So those are just targets, but I definitely won't be hitting them. They're just to give me something to go for. It's irrelevant, voltage is irrelevant. It's just flat out. Everything is capacity, as hard as you can go. That's why it's one of the hardest interval sessions I'll ever do. Uh, this one's easy, it's only 10 seconds sprint and like 50 seconds rest. Like, what the hell? Piece of cake. One down. <laughs> See, it's easy. It's easy now. Uh, 30 seconds.
Yeah, so that's it, isn't it? And like, it's literally like hardly any work there in terms of like overall time, but man, oh man, like, you don't have to do many of these. Like, you don't have, like, I'm doing two sets of these, which in theory is like nothing, but it's all like zone six, zone seven work, and it's just such elevated, like, pain level. It's just off the charts, like, of what, I mean, in a race, you would likely be able to, you would likely have to do that in a race at some point. It's very rare, but like, you know, you might well have to. Yeah, DJ, the only reason why it's different is because it doesn't fit in the, in the Zwift screen. George, there's no percentage, it's just all out. But there's no percentage, mate. It's just as hard as you can go. Every single interval, hard as you can go. <laughs> yeah, man, the second half of this next one is gonna be. No fan on, so. Only a short section, we can sweat it, we can sweat it. Well Nick, if you want to do the same, just give yourself longer recovery. I haven't him. In fact, I've never done a 4 DP. <laughs> Have you done one recently? True story, Robin. You don't really do it on the street. Surely I'd be dead if I did that. No, George, it's primarily for like two to two to five minute power. I'll definitely get it done, Tim. No, because then it'd get easier then, Zach, wouldn't it? 
on a five minute effort usually gets harder not easier so that's the idea with this interval section oh my word there alright 20 seconds Remember, doesn't matter what the power is, it's all out. It can work anyway, George. It doesn't have to be on a certain degree. Oh my word.
And that is where modern interval sessions completely trump old school VO2 max intervals. Oh my word. Oh, stay this way. I mean, I mean, it's impressively hard, but it's one of those sessions where, like, you don't expect to do, like, awesome numbers, especially in that last block. Like, well, you shouldn't be, to be honest. If you are, you haven't done it correctly in, in those 30 and 40 second intervals, because I, I think it's the 30 and 40 second intervals that actually tip you over the edge. The 10 and 20 seconds are fine, you know, but then when you start to get to that middle section where recovery is a one-to-one -one ratio, and then the work interval starts to go less, like, you should have already emptied the tank prior to that, so. Uh, great question, George. Um, how much will this add? To be honest, not a lot uh, in terms of TSS. I mean, this is literally going to be, this is literally going to be like, I don't know, 60 TSS or something. Possibly even less. But you have to remember that it's the actual accumulated effect so yeah this is probably the hardest you'll dig or the diggest the deepest you'll dig so if i was you i would double it up on a double day and then give yourself a rest day the day after just so that you've got enough time to recover from not only the double session um because i mean you can include this in a double day because it's only half an hour you, you know half an hour is nothing to a certain extent but shows how much work you can do in half an hour uh, cheers mick Second session plan for the day. This is the only session plan for the day, actually. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. <laughs> I never look at the stars. That's it. Nice one. So the TSS is 40. Okay, so it's a lot less than what I thought it was, but considering this is a lot of zone one in the gray, but. Uh, Obviously the warm-up wasn't as hard as uh, it could have been, uh, but that's no problem really. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, let me just switch my music off. As you can see, like, got to be careful because the accumulated effect of this, you know, can be quite difficult. This might take me, it, it also depends as well how good you are at these intervals because if you're like naturally very strong over short duration intervals, then I would say that, you know, this probably doesn't take as much out of you as the next person. Um, this takes quite a lot out of me because um, I'm not really great at doing kind of sub five minute efforts. I can do them, obviously, but it's, uh, it's a different kettle of fish. So you can see, um, you know, like, my first set was good, heart rate's like constantly rising, and then it levels off here. Um, same with this one, don't quite reach the height of the first one, but then you could argue that I was just experiencing fatigue here, which wasn't allowing me to get up to that second set. Um, and also mentally, like, you start to like, give way a little bit, which is why I was able to pull off that last 30 seconds quite well. Um, you know, there's some argument to say that it could stretch it a little bit further, and I could do like, I could transition into a minute on, minute off uh, after this last minute one, and I could actually extend the benefit of the workout. But for the time being, like two sets of those and only five minutes rest is like, it, it's pretty hard already. Like, so yeah, we could do outdoor riding. Yeah, just have to stay within my county. Yeah, warm-ups and on feel. Best thing for leg cramps, could position on the bike cause them? Um, I could do, actually, yeah, I could do. I don't know in what, maybe if your saddle's too high, or too low, I suppose. Oh my word. 
<laughs> I'm glad I've got my um, hashtag wahoo mat here because there is a lot of sweat on the floor. To be honest, George, it'd be a great substitution. This would be a great substitution. This workout for a, for a race, especially the short races, you know, like the twenty minute races, half an hour races. Yeah, image. Um, we're in a local lockdown in South Wales, so you're not allowed to travel outside of your outside of your um, county. Um, so like, there's two weeks until the National Hill Climb Championship. So. Um, Cycling time trial regulations state that nobody can compete if they're coming from a lockdown area. So um, at the minute, we can't compete at the National Hill Climb Championships. <laughs> um, which annoys me a little bit because there's places, there's other places in the UK that don't have as hard of rules as we do. And yet they're like far worse off. Um, so like... It's a little bit upsetting, to be honest. A little bit demotivating as well, but it is what it is. Um, uh, DJ, well, if you struggle at three to four minute intervals, I wouldn't say do more of them. Think about sessions like this. I mean, th three to four minute intervals never get easier. You just produce more power. So... What's a self-quarantine? You mean like travel outside of Wales and then quarantine, uh, like quarantine for two weeks in a in an Airbnb? Can't do that because you're not allowed to travel outside of this area. And I can't I can't use the excuse that I'm a fresh athlete because I'm a human being like everybody else, and so you know I ha I have as much like I could be carrying it to the event and give it to other people so. I'm doing, like, I'm, yeah, I'm just going by the regu- I'm not going to try and worm my way out of regulations and stuff because that that wouldn't be the way to do it. Like, there's a reason why we're in quarantine here. Um, there's a reason why we're in lockdown, so, you know. <sighs> anyway. Um, that's it. Uh, so go and try this at home. <laughs> if you want the session, if you don't want to create it, um, <laughs> cheers, Phil. <laughs> um, thanks, Phil. Thanks. Um, yeah, if you want this workout uh, sent to you, then, um, in the description down below, you can sign up to like a little email list, um, and I can send everybody out this um, this workout if you if you fancy um, if you fancy giving it a go. It's the same email address you can send. So when I set up like online rides, you'll all get like notified if if you want to come and join in. So maybe we can do the session all together one day. <coughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Zach, this is the thing, and I mean, I could like I could go through a process of like trying to get, um, you know, an, an exemption whereby I get tested, and you know, if it comes back negative, then I can compete. But then, you know, I I risk the backlash of people going, well, how did he get one, and I've been waiting like two months or one, and it's you know, it's it's just I, I'm far better off just waiting. Um, yeah, I'm not a climber. <laughs> I'm far better off waiting until you know we come out of lockdown. Um, I'm doing it like the proper way. Um, <laughs> tough, Phil. You get me next week. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but in all seriousness, if it happens, it happens. The nationals, uh, you know, we'll we'll roll with it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty cool with it either way. You know, it's um, it, it is what it is. You know, you can't do anything about it. it there's much bigger fish to fry, uh, as as opposed to, you know, me doing the National Hill Climb Championships. Like, there's bigger fish fish to fry in the world. Like, there's there's problems everywhere, and and this is the the smallest problem in the world, uh, in reality. So, um, that's the way I'm looking at it. So, 
Uh, <laughs> Chris, you're getting it as well, so pipe down. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye now. So thank you for for jumping in. The Zwift riders will be back soon. Uh, yeah, Pritchard's giving me some uh, some motivation to do that after his uh, well attended ride last night. So uh, appreciate you joining. Stay hydrated. Enjoy your day, and uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, again very very soon.